things I think you need to know about good dog, bad zombie. Good Dog, Bad Zombie from Make Big Things is a cooperative game for two to four players in which you are dogs that have survived a zombie apocalypse. But what's a dog's life without humans? So the aim of the game is to seek out the humans and bring them back to safety. This game works via action selection but feels very much like a pick up and deliver game. On your turn you can perform two actions that come from a variety including moving, um, barking which can move a character from the space you're in, sniffing which allows you to explore a location and licking which allows you to draw cards. You can also play a card from your hand and they all are special abilities or your own dog itself, the character you play, can have special abilities too. At the end of your turn you roll a dice and this determines exactly which square a zombie is going to be placed. If it's one where you are placed you get returned back to Central Bark, the safe area in the middle of the map, or if there's a human on the square they get eaten. If you're unable to place the zombie however you end up shuffling the entire row of zombies forward and if any zombie reaches Central Bark you get what's called a feral token and they go on a feral track and if you max out that track you lose the game. Similar games to Good Dog Bad Zombie. Well I have to admit it really reminds me of Istanbul where you're running around the map to collect items except in this case it's humans and you're herding them to safety. The cooperative element also gives it a very different feel. Setup is easy and the rulebook is nigh on perfect. Um, it takes about 40 minutes for two of us to play and the turns are lightning fast. Um, replayability wise there's good variation here it's random each time you play where the locations are going to be and such and you can also play with different dogs who have different abilities. The expansion for this game Weird Smells adds missions to the game which I think adds even more replayability and definitely ups the difficulty. Aesthetics wise I love Good Dog Bad Zombie. There's great variation in the adorable artwork. I think the colour choices for the zombies and the humans is pretty much perfection and the way places are named in the text on your cards are both hilarious and fitting. Now the components for this game are rather unusual because it's been designed with sustainable production in mind, meaning that the majority of the game is made of recycled materials and is printed using vegetable ink. Not only that, the factory in which the game is made is one in which everyone who works there owns a share in the factory, which is a pretty fascinating way to go about creating a game now, isn't it? So what's so special about Good Dog Bad Zombie? I think it has to be the fact that you can play with your own pet. And no, I don't mean having them in the table beside you. There is a website for the game in which you can upload a photograph of your pet, their name, and give them special abilities, and then you print it out and you play with it like any other character. How freaking amazing is that? Okay, so how do I really feel about Good Dog Bad Zombie? Firstly, the negatives. The energy cards are on the small side. I really wish that they were bigger and that they were thicker, mostly because you use them a lot. So the positives. This team is both hilarious and heartwarming and it's one that's incredibly well implemented. Um, the way the places are named and the text on your cards really helps you immerse yourself in this doggy world. Also, this is a pretty fresh approach to zombie games, right? I've never heard of one like it. Um, and this is one that's full of fun and definitely mild peril. Finally, I do think that this game is pretty easy to learn, so it's one that will appeal to new players and also, of course, to dog lovers. As a whole, Good Dog Bad Zombie really exemplifies lighthearted entertainment. Do I think you should have Good Dog Bad Zombie in your collection? Well, if you like dogs or you like the idea of playing with your dog in your game, or you enjoy zombies, or even if you just like playing cooperative games with your friends that is fun and light and entertaining, um, then I think this is a game you really should go and have a look at. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or queries you'd like to make about Good Dog Bad Zombie, I'd really love to hear from you in the comments below. Or if you'd like to do something nice, why not like or subscribe or you know tell people I exist, that's pretty awesome. I also have a Patreon, if anybody's interested in supporting the channel that way, that would be pretty amazing. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions and of course perusing my collection. Take care.